So in this problem we have to construct the development of the pentagonal prism. You can see in this uh, first we have to construct a pentagon of dimension 20 mm and axis height 50. So it is resting with one of its rectangular faces parallel to VP. Okay. So first here I am going to construct a pentagon with respect to the uh, lateral face parallel to the XY line. First, I'll be drawing XY line here. So, XY line thickness I'll be considering 0.13. You can, as I mentioned, you can consider 0.25 also, no problem. You can mention XY, VP, and HP because we are considering a first quadrant. So, mentioning of the XY and VP, HP is important because you need to mention in which quadrant you are doing it. Okay, we are doing in the first coordinate. Now I will be constructing a pentagon with respect to the so lateral face should be parallel to the xy. So I will go to the polygon by center. I will type five sides and then I will keep the pentagon with respect to the lateral face parallel to the xy. Now I will go to smart dimension, select the parallel edge and now I will change the dimension, type 20, enter. You will get the pentagon of dimension 20, select it, select the whole pentagon and place it properly where you want. Okay. Now we can give the naming for this pentagon like as it is there in the solution book. A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Okay, now we draw the projection lines. Okay. And we find out the, we draw the perpendicular bisector. At least we draw three perpendicular bisector to find out the center of the pentagon here. projection lines we have to draw here from all these uh, points ok now we have to draw the front view of it so first I will be drawing an axis for a length of 50 mm then all the vertical edges I'll be drawing for the same length okay Now we are getting here a rectangular face in the front view, so you can join it. Show the dimension for this front view. Okay. Now you can mention the naming for the front view. That is a dash. Uh, same way we are mentioning it for the front view. You can mention it. Okay, so now uh, we have to draw an section line, section plane, the section line. So it has to be at the top extreme corner of the pentagon, and it has to have angle of 30 degree with respect to the axis here. Okay, so if you give minus 150, it will not take. It will take from the corner end for the top face. But we should make sure that uh, section play, section uh, line it has to be have angle 30 degree with respect to the axis. Okay. Okay. For that I'll be drawing one section line from the corner. Then I will give the angle with respect to the axis. Okay. You just see that. First, I will draw in a straight line 
then after that I will give the angle. Okay, now I will measure the angle and I can change it. So, I am getting here 38, I will type it to 30. So, now you can see that, so we have drawn in section plane exactly at the uh, right extreme corner point and it is having an angle of 30 degree with respect to the axis. So, that upper part I will be making as thin line, for that I will be using a split command, okay, using the split command I can split it, okay, so it will be easy for us to do the, make the upper part thin, okay, by selecting the lines, we will be making thin line, Okay, now we have to um, give the numericals that is 1 to 3 where we have actually done the cutting. Okay, this point it is 1. Now you can see it is not exactly falling on the vertical edge of A. So that's why I will be drawing a projection line downward here. So that I will be getting the one point where it is exactly cutting in the top face. Okay, zoom in you will get the exact point and draw, and draw a straight uh, downward line. Okay, this is where you are getting a 1 and uh, 2 you are getting exactly in the vertical edge B. Okay, three you are getting exactly on the vertical edge C and four also are getting on the D. Okay and uh, for the E also we are getting exactly on the E point vertical edge and another point we are getting uh, that is point number 6 ok the point number 6 we are getting in between E and A ok in between E and A I am, I am denoting it ok now using split command I am going to get the length of from A to 1 and A to 6 ok you have to split it exactly ok can split it and then measure the dimension you have to split it here okay and see here there is intersection of these two lines over there that's why so i'm not able to get it properly but you try it by zooming it you can get the exact point and zoom in and check the dimension for it but in the solution book they have mentioned wrong okay this is what the actual length you will get in solution book in, uh, in some of the part they have done mistake so you can rectify in these problems you can correct it So cut it properly using a split command. I will be selecting that vertical edge and then zoom it and click. So you will get the exact point. It is not 10 mm, it is 11 point something you will get. But in the solution book they have mentioned 10 mm, it is not the exact 10 mm, it is more than that. Okay. So this is what uh, he has uh, shown in the solution book but that is not correct because it is cutting exactly uh, more than the half of it you just see that projection line which is uh, which has been coming downward it is 11 point something in the solution book they have done the mistake here it's not 10 mm, 10 mm it's more than that and that is also not 3.83 it is uh, about 4 you will get about more than 4 okay so you have to do the splitting correctly and then you can check it when you do the solution you will get the exact answer okay
okay this line I will select now I am going to split it exactly where it is cutting it sometimes by trying uh, so many times you will get the exact solution okay so it is 11.3 it is not 10 okay guys remember it it's not 10 mm it is 11.3 okay now we draw an parallel line Okay, from that uh, point we will be drawing a parallel line, I will be drawing a vertical edge, vertical edge. Now using offset command I will be drawing 5 lines of this, okay, 6 lines totally, 5 faces. Okay. Use offset command, give distance of 20 mm because uh, pentagon having dimension 20, so type 20 and enter click you will get the five phases okay you can mention the naming for it it is in capital a b c d you can mention it a b c d e a okay now we have to mark the first point one but first point one it is not exactly falling on the vertical edge it is at a distance of 4.32 so i will go to the arc by center arc by center point and I will measure the distance of 4.32 from the A point and I will cut the arc 4.32 ok so for point 1 and 6 we need to cut the arc other than, other than that 2, 3, 4, 5 we are getting on the vertical edges ok it is easy just by projecting a horizontal line you can get all the points now you can see that point number 2 just by projecting horizontal line we get it on the vertical edge B here and then point 3 you get it on the what you can see at the top extreme corner just mention 3 and the point 4 you get it on the vertical is D here and point 5 also you can get it on the E point here vertical is G just project the horizontal line from that point okay now from the point number 6 we have to cut the arc for 11.3 here so go to arc by center so go to arc by center measure the length of 11.3 type 11.3 and give enter and eleven point three enter okay this is your point number six now we have to connect all this one two three four with the straight line using straight line we will go to connect this so join all these uh, one two three point numericals okay with this right line So connect all these points with the thick line in the upper part okay the upper part we have to make it uh, thin by selecting it uh, some of the lines uh, it is directly selected we can select it and make it thin and some of the lines we need to split it okay however it is there in that uh, solution book we are doing the same way okay so I'm going to make those lines as thin lines by selecting 0 0.13 
then these two vertical lines I am going to split it by splitting them so I can make them thin here So this completes the problem you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notification and share it to the maximum students so they get benefited.